Crazy how you're running through my mind, yeah. 24 7 all the time. My number one never on the side, yeah. Just you and I, you and I. I don't need to tell you, I'm gonna show you. And you gon' feel it when I hold you. So get ready, I'm gonna go in. Yeah. I'm gonna go in. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to the Hot Zone. We are joined by the legendary R&B singer, Mr. Ralph Tresvon. Welcome to the Hot Zone, Ralph. Good morning, to love one. How you doing, man? Man, I am doing good, but I got to check in with you, man. How are you holding up through this whole COVID-19 and quarantine uh, lifestyle that we're going through now? I got to say, so far, we've been blessed, man. It's been um, one of those things that my family's been safe. I'm safe. You know, everybody's negative, everybody's staying low, wearing our masks, staying in the house, you know, only interacting when we have to and things like that. So we're taking all the precautions, all our right vitamins and minerals and eating well, staying healthy, man. So you got a brand new song out, man. It's called All Mine. Just tell the fans a little bit about your brand new song, All Mine. It's featuring Johnny Gill. Tell us a little bit about that. All Mine is just one of those songs, man, that, again, it came together organically. It was springboarding off of the energy. The song was actually submitted for Johnny for his album. Okay. And he heard it, said it sounded more like me. It sounded like something okay. I would do. So he sent it to me. He said, I got something I want you to hear. And he sent it to me. And, I, you know, I love the song out the bat. So I went and recorded it. And a few days later, I heard it back with his vocals um, mixed with mine. He was, on the, he was on the track as well. Okay. And... I just fell in love with it. I said, well, this is perfect. This sounds like the perfect song to come behind Perfect, which was a song that we did in reverse with him singing the lead. And I was featured on that song. It sounded like a, a great comeback from that project, from that from that um single. And a great way to launch my solo career. So when I heard it, I said, that's the one. This, is, this seems like the one we got to drop. And the album that's coming out, right? The new album that's coming out. What can your fans really expect from the album? What would be expected is for it to be true to what I've been doing in the past, you know, with my school and new edition have been doing throughout the years. I hold a lot of the sound in my vocals and, and what I do as an artist in the new edition sound. One of the things is to try to capture, you know, capture that sound and that vibe so that people are familiar with who it is and who I am coming out the gate, you'll get it right out the gate. You'll understand whose voice that is, the harmonies and all that kind of stuff that I've been using throughout the past will be there. The type of topics we've been singing about, mm -hmm. all of that will be there. I think the surprise and the pleasant surprise I'm hoping will come from it is how, how modern that sound can still be brought together. of Candy Girl. I think that was back from 1983. Can you believe it's been 37 years, man? Was it 37 years? For, that think, was for... Yeah, like, it's 1983, I think. It's absolutely insane when you think about how much time has gone by. Because it feels like it was just yesterday we was jumping around in Boston trying to do our little yeah. thing, on, trying to run up the radio stations and see, please play this for us, man. And it just seems like yesterday we was doing all of that stuff, man. And no, yeah. it's hard to believe. It's very hard to believe that it's been that long. Uh, New Edition's almost 40 years into our career, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. 40 years, like you said, that's that's accurate. It doesn't feel like it, man. It feel like it was a blink of an eye. I know. When you look back at those videos and you see those little boys, you know, performing Candy Girl and all those little uh, different songs that all the little, little girls loved, do you look at those boys and say, wow, I never imagined that they were going to grow up to be such a successful group as New Edition and so successful as individual artists as well. Did you ever even imagine that? You know, we dreamed of it. Mm -hmm. our, our goal when we was coming in the game was to be like the Jacksons one day, mm -hmm. be like the Temptations one day. Um, and that's what we kind of were a combination of. The Jacksons meet the Temptations, meets mm -hmm. what was happening in the streets with the pop locking and the yeah. The, the upcoming of hip hop and that whole field was kind of a combination of what made New Edition what it was. So you dreamed of it. We hope to be legends like that one day and be mentioned in the same name as those guys. But to think that it really happened is just surreal. You know, we sit back right now and go, it really took place. We really have a star on the walk of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We really have a story 
uh, that told about our lives and all that stuff, just like all those artists have. That's surreal, man. That's something that when you look back at those videos, it was all a dream. It was all hopes and, you know, gassing yourself up to keep it going and trying to, you know, to strive for it, to give you something to strive for. But no, nah, not in our wildest dreams that we really <laughs> think it's going to happen. It's just you, 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 you pray on it, you work hard at it, you keep going for it, and you look back later on, and it seems like a blink of an eye, but you've actually walked that path that, of those guys that we looked up to and wanted to be like. We, we, we now, we're now mentioned in that same in that same breath. When you talk about those type of artists, yeah. you have to mention New Edition, man. Why do you think New Edition it was so successful for so many years? From way back then, all the way to 2020, New Edition is so loved even till today. Why, why do you think that is? The new edition represented love. We yeah. let we represented um, family values. We represented all the things that we love that all of us as entertainers, as people who grew up in the hood and our black coat, yeah. we, we, re we represented what we all loved about music, you know, from the choreographed vibe of the Temptations and the synchronized suits. The <laughs> whole right, thing. I love that. <laughs> we had a classy look of those yeah. guys who really presented themselves to the looseness and the funk of the Jacksons and having these different nuances within the group that everybody knew. The, 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 you know, we, we represented a lot of what people love about music. Do you have a favorite new edition song? Really hard, man. I, really <laughs> I know, don't... right? So many hits. My two favorite songs is You gotta are... pick one. You can't have two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but okay, but okay, you know what, Ralph? Well, well, okay. Well I will, I'll give you two then because on the faster beat, the up tempo one, if it isn't love, I was okay. like I was Ralph Tresmont like dancing doing if it isn't love. <laughs> I was like doing that whole thing. So if it isn't love and then I have to pick also the slower one, Can You Stand the Rain? Because I was Ralph Tresmont in my high school talent show, and we were yeah. singing Can You Stand the Rain? So that was my jam, man. <laughs> when that comes on, I don't care where I'm at or if it's in concert, if I'm listening to the radio, if I'm just going through our, my own, you know, the new edition catalog on my own, and I, when, whenever that song comes on, it just sweeps over me in this way. It's like that song, that song was a special record. It was one of those records that comes on. It's almost like listening to when I hear Alexander O'Neill's Sunshine. Oh, smooth. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The record right. Like that would come on and just soothes me and it just hit me in a way. Can You Stand in the Rain does that for me when I hear it. If It Isn't Love comes oh. on in concert yeah, and man. you're standing on stage while we're performing. If it is a love, why do I feel this way? You can see the first 10 rows, everybody's Damn doing this. <laughs> we can do by if it is a love. You know, so it's like, that's one of those things that the choreography mixed with the song etched in everyone's heads in a way that yeah. none of the other songs do that. Right. None of the other songs come on and you just instantly know the moves and the record, It's uh, you know, in its entirety. We can pretty much just grab people out of the audience, sit them on stage with us, and when the hook comes in, at least the hook part comes in, nine out of 10 people can do the choreography right with us on stage. So they can. They can. Yeah. Is there any possible chance of a new edition reunion in the future? Oh, you better believe it. At the end of the day, we're brothers, man. We've since the Candy Girl days had our ups and downs, our disagreements, and like all brothers, right? Just like any family, man. It's you know you don't always agree on everything, and sometimes it doesn't work out in the timing that we want everything to. You can't come together at the right time. Sometimes that would have been a great run for us if we'd have been able to piggy bank off of all of the hoopla and all of the noise yeah. that was being made during that time period to drop an album. Um, a tour and whatever else we want to do was thinking we want a cartoon then and this is all stuff that's still on the table that we will we'll probably visit at some point just just because it's stuff that we've always wanted to do right now this is your time and all yes, mine is a great single and Thank it's you. such a great video and i really really love it so i'm glad that ralph is doing his thing because you're the lead singer of new edition and this is your time to shine so i'm so happy about that you must be really excited that this is your time right now to shine as well, right? 
Absolutely, man. It's nothing like having your own lane open and your own ability to go out there and your own fans along with, you know, it's just a, a different walk. It's like I'll get to wear my own clothes, my own suit, my own vibe, my own inspirations from the music I grew up loving and sharing that as an artist and as a, as a man, an individual man. And then when you get back and you do something like New Edition, it's, yeah. it's something it's special to it. It's like going on and I explain it as how you wear your own clothes all day, every day, and then it's time for a wedding or it's for a cotillion. So you put on the tuxedo, you put on a whole other vibe. That's what it's like when you throw on a New Edition suit. You put that, so when you go back through that, you're coming out of your own thing. But to not have as many people know my own thing, my individual walk, is just something I always felt like I, I needed to do more of or should have done more of throughout the years. And I spent most of my time just nurturing and worrying about making sure New Edition got where it's got, where it was supposed to go. And my role in that was so important that it was very hard to do other things and still leave room for that. Even when I did the Sensitivity album and some of the other albums, it was always in between while everybody was going and trying to throw that in there real quick. Sensitivity, man, I love that song, man. That was a hot song and you just, you know, jumped out the gates and that was a smash hit. And you're gonna do it again, you know, with all mine in your your upcoming album. So that that is great. So I'm so much looking forward to that, man. It's really, that, that's awesome. That is awesome. We are now going to jump into a little game we do here on the Hot Zone. All right? Okay. It's called Hot or Not. All right? Okay. All so, right. So this is what, so this is how it goes. Our viewers, our fans, get to come on and speak to the guest artist. Um, uh -huh. But what they do is they sing a verse of their favorite song by the guest artist. Now, you are a guest artist, right? <laughs> and our fan bailed, bro. They, they bailed. They, they must have got a little nervous. So I'm going to jump in. And okay. Step in because I'm a fan of yours. I've been a fan of yours for years. So I'm going to uh -huh. sing a verse of my favorite mm -hmm. song by Ralph Tresmont. You gotta keep it 1,000 with you. I gotta uh, keep it 100, right? I'm gonna keep it 1,000, right? And at the okay. end, you're gonna judge it, hot or not. All right, okay. here we go. Cause I need somebody who will stand by me Through the good times, the bad times, she will always, always be right there, sunny day. Everybody loves them. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? <laughs> Tell me, baby, now, can now, you now, now, drum roll, please. Wait, drum, you got to think about it for a second. Drum roll, please. Ralph is now going to judge. Hot or not? That was actually kind of hot in a karaoke kind of way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> If I could be a seventh member of New Edition, maybe you could squeeze me in there every now and then, or maybe yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody's nose, if uh, you know they sick that night, they might let the fans might let you slide that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. You've been doing so much great work. I did want to ask you a quick question. You know, we don't talk politics on the show, but you know that mm -hmm. Biden just chose Kamala Harris as his running mate for, you know, vice president. What do you think of your fellow artist, Kanye West, running for president? <laughs> I was, it was just hard for me to take it serious, man. You know, I thought, I thought any minute, like, uh, any, any second I was going to see your man jump out and say I was being punked or something, man. You know? <laughs> In other words, you're saying it's not hot. It's not. Not hot. <laughs> okay, okay, it's not hot. Was you feeling it? No. Not feeling it. I am not feeling it. Kanye West is a great artist, and I think that's where he should keep it yep. as an artist. But you know, yep. but he looked at it this way, Ralph. You know, President Trump, he's president. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We don't need a repeat or something. You right. know. Basically, <laughs> if, if Trump can be president, then why can't Kanye? That's how I think he looked at it. Why can't Ronald McDonald, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that. We got to stop it at some point. So, okay, we, we, we've had enough of that. Let's put something serious back in there, man, and stop playing around with the country. Until that meantime, we 
are going to be looking forward to all mine and your new album coming yes. out. Where can the fans check out your latest work, your songs, your music? What's your Instagram page? Like, where can they check all out uh, your, your latest project? All my stuff is at the real Ralph Trez Vans dot coms, real Ralph Trez at real Ralph Trez, the real Ralph Trez Van on Instagram, real Ralph Trez Van on Facebook. We're pretty much um on all the lanes. You know, we we're hitting all the lanes and covering covering all the avenues right now. So okay. just type your name in, man, and and check out if you want to feel fill out what we're doing. We even starting to put up more things to give people pre and give a pre, people pre advances on what I'm doing next which I've been kind of doing like the day before or the two days before for most of this stuff. And I want to give them more advanced time to, you know, be a part of what, you know, what's going on in here and be able to check out some of these interviews. Um, instead of hearing about it afterwards, a lot of people probably hear this one, was putting it up and letting them know, you got to check out the hot zone. We're going to be on this stuff like that, but oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. More time to be able to join, join what we're doing. So yeah, you just look up the name man, and it'll, it'll, it'll point you in the right direction. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the hot zone, Ralph. Um, we look forward to uh, the re release of the album and, of course, the success of All Mine. It's going to be a great, great album, and the song is doing so well right now. So we look forward to so much more from you, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you, man. And thanks for holding me down in all the talent shows throughout the years, man. Oh, 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 absolutely, man. That, that's my <laughs> thing. That's my thing, man. Definitely love having you, bro. <laughs> Hi, this is Ralph Tresband, and I'm in the hot zone.